All right, good evening, everyone. I'd like to uh, welcome you to our regular scheduled board session for uh, the City of New Colorado and Council for uh, October 4th, 2021. It's 6.00 Council, citizens, and new administrators and uh, folks that we have. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Yeah, Mayor Lowry. Here. Councilman Grimm. I'm here. Councilman Eggleston. Here. Councilman Nowakowski. Here. Councilman Cobb. Here. Councilman Roadwald. Here. Vice Mayor Cook. Here. Seven members present. All right, tonight's invocation will be done by Vice Mayor Cook. Our Heavenly Father, please bless this meeting, guide us through as we attempt to do the business for the citizens of this grand city. Please bless all of our first responders, our EMTs, our firefighters, and our sheriff's deputies. And with that, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be pretty short. Uh, let's see. We'll put action on the minutes for the regular session will be handled in regular session. Communications done tonight, so the city manager report will be handled in regular session. Uh, comments from the members of the public. If you have any questions, comments, please put it for you. Trying to take us out here. <laughs> well, no, we know you'll be here for the sequel. It <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you got something. Then, yeah, if you please go to the podium and get the name and address for the record, please. Janelle Zimmerman, 219 Prentice Drive. And uh, mostly I'd just like to thank everybody on the committee that worked for that Heritage Festival, because my goodness, it was just wonderful. It, it was just marvelous, I thought. So many airplanes in the parade and the parade was so good and the fireworks and that music and quotes they played when the fireworks were going off was, was just amazing and I, I just know they have to work really really hard so I, as a citizen I'd just like to thank them for that and I did have a comment though um, last week his name just slipped my mind but I know he said he had tried to contact the city several times about something and he never got a reply and they said well they just didn't have time to call everybody back but I've had a couple other people tell me that too that they've tried to call or they've left messages and no one ever calls them back oh. and I just I find that really rude, rude. <laughs> well depending on who they call and I don't know if you know I mean I yeah know. yeah I don't know right, right. yeah depending on who they call if they call Randy because a lot of people have Randy's direct well either if they have his cell phone or his, his office number Randy's been out for personal reasons for I don't know about a week or so now mm -hmm. uh, so he's got some things going on um, so if they called him that would be why and he, he's not going to be back for probably a handful of days well this was a long time ago oh, okay, okay. yeah it was um, so yeah I don't know who they called or but no I would agree I mean I, I can't answer why or who or, I can tell you I get calls from um, Bethel Township that I'll pass on to them and the same goes eventually it'll be three weeks and then I'll get a message from someone else they just don't call the right jurisdiction because of Bethel Township and New Carlisle being so close yeah, it's yeah. just an option and plus we have another sales a number that people put in there and it gets checked often but you just never know yeah and i'm not sure who they call i think it was randy but i don't know i just know they had questions about something or comments and and they just never got a call back and you know i've heard this two or three times and i just think that's i know they really are busy and i don't quite know how to solve that problem but it just seemed mm -hmm. kind of rude to me so well thank you for the heads up I would, I would like to say that there needs to be some consideration of how to shorten the message on making a call there because they give you 72 different options. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, what? <clears throat> where are we at? And then you got to start over again. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, it's a mess. There's got to be a, a better way, a quicker way that we can address people 
on that phone. Yeah, it is. The menu is a little lengthy and a little confusing. So maybe when Randy gets back in the town, we can yeah. maybe talk to him about it. His next available council. I thought. Go over. Maybe it'd be better if they called a council person, or our, if, our, or if they just need to there. come to a meeting or something. You know, I don't, I don't know, but I just kind of found that disturbing. So, okay. I think that's all I had to say. Well, thank you. My name is Pat Craybacher, 307 North Henry Street, New Carlisle. And I just, I think it's important to say thank you and good news like the first woman who spoke. I, I did not attend the festival much except on Saturday, but it was um, a pleasure to see that parade. I got to watch the parade and it was a lot of fun with the Shriners especially, but the planning that went on, I saw kids sweeping up the trash throughout the whole day and even the horse dump on Main Street. and. Um, the, the cross streets were left open pretty much instead of blocking them off totally and that made access so much easier both for parking for citizens that wanted to park mm -hmm. instead of having to try to drive around a barricade so the cross streets were much more open and it gave much better access if you were trying to be in the parade or you know get to a booth or just visit um, the festival for a short period of time so um, I really think that was a great decision to leave the cross streets more accessible. But thank you to the planning team, because as she said, it's a tremendous amount of work. And uh, the rain luckily held off almost the whole time. So thanks, Scott. Thank, thank you. you. I was going to make some comments on it, but since you guys had brought it up, I'll do it real quick. Um, you know, besides the festival committee, and yeah, they do, they do a great job. But we, we had a lot of extra help this year. We were behind schedule on the stage because we didn't have our pride workers help put us up, and rain put us behind. We had, you know, Dale Graham come up, Peggy was there. Um, we had, yeah, Jim was there, Bruce Agelson was there. And I know I'm going to forget some people, but, and the ROTC students for the council, they're the ones that were uh, sweeping the street. Um, so, you know, a lot of people behind the scenes that aren't in the yellow shirts that did a lot of work, too, so a big thank you to them. Uh, the fire department, chief trustee, and oh, that guy does amazing. He had his people organized, and any time there was a, a scrape or a bump somewhere, it's one maybe, you know, bomb, and he was on it. So, uh, and the deputies as well, they all did a great job. So, thank you. All right, anyone else for comments from the public? All right, moving on. I, I was so busy this weekend, I forgot to charge my tablet. <laughs> Uh, committee reports on the night resolutions uh ordinances will all be handled regular session other business uh, legislation discussion i don't think there is any Do you have anything uh, open discussion must be simulated before we adjourn motion to adjourn second motion by mr Powell, second by mr Grimm. councilwoman eggleston yes councilman okowski yes councilman cobb yes Councilman Rodewald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Motion to adjourn except 7-0. We will be back at 7 o'clock. Thank you.